Good morning all from Poundland or Pound World or Pound something, I can't remember which one it was. Um, a motion detector. Beautiful garden. Decorate. It's actually a frog with a motion detector that sets off a little recording. Uh, I croak if anyone crosses my path. Ribbit, ribbit, sound. Now it did make that sound when I pulled out the little battery tab from the uh, battery compartment. I managed to do that with the thing still in its bag, but it's not made the sound since. So this motion detector obviously doesn't work through plastic. It's clearly not sound triggered and it doesn't appear to be light triggered either. So interesting, how does that detector work? But uh, I'm more interested in recreating Alessandro Volta's experiments where he shoved high voltages onto a frog and watched its legs twitch. I wonder if I can do that with this frog. Right, Poundland frog is out of its packet and it doesn't seem to be motion detecting. So I want to see what kind of uh, detector is actually in there. Let's uh, see if I can get a close up. Well, it looks like an LDR. It's got that characteristic zigzag pattern on it. So you'd think it would be triggered by light, but uh, doesn't seem to work. Maybe there's an issue with the battery compartment. Let's try removing this screw. Let's see if I can get this thing to uh, make its ribbit ribbit sound. Yeah. But I uh, can't do it based on triggering the sensor. Maybe the sensor doesn't work. Cheap Poundland rubbish. So it's definitely a light dependent resistor in there, an LDR, but uh, it doesn't seem to be triggered by changes in light level. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why that's not working. Maybe there's a wire loose. But the uh, sound playback unit is definitely working. Three ribbit ribbits. Now what I'm interested in is that's presumably coming from, I don't know, a microcontroller type sound playback chip. If I change the voltage on here, will that sound increase and decrease in pitch or is it crystal locked? There is only one way to find out. So out with the LR44 batteries. Now interestingly the positive on these is on the flat back of the cell. So I'm pretty certain that the positive will go on the spring here. So let's wire that up. So a little power supply unit uh, set to four and a half volts. That's the same voltage as uh, three of these little cells. And I've set the current limit to 100 milliamps. I guess that should be enough. Let's switch on. Oh, wow. It's actually going into current limit when that sound appears. So perhaps 100 milliamps isn't enough. Now, will the pitch change if I change it to five volts? 4.2. Five point two. Yeah, I think the pitch does go up a bit, so uh, it doesn't look like it's crystal locked. Okay, time to rip the frog apart. Uh, pliers, maybe. Will this module come out? Yep. Because I want to see what's in it and how it works. Oh. There's the circuit board. Hmm, can't see a crystal. Speaker up there, battery compartment, and the LDR. I want to know why the LDR doesn't work. Hmm, well I think the reason that the LDR doesn't work um, is because the LDR is on those two black wires and there appears to be a big blob of solder uh, straddling those two wires. So uh, it's basically shorted out. I'll just see if I can rip that blob I've solder off with my pliers. Right, I've managed to tear the blob of solder out even without using my soldering iron. So let's shove the batteries in and see if the LDR bit works now. Right, the batteries are in, so... Yay! Change of light level. And the frog works. Now this video was intended to be a destructive one where I overvolt this, but to be honest, I don't think much of any excitement's gonna happen.
So I think this is now going to become a repair video. Great, isn't it? Poundland, the only place you can buy stuff with deliberate faults on them so that you have to fix it yourself. It just adds to the excitement. So this thing can go out in the garden now where it will irritate me basically until the batteries go flat. So let's take it outside. So yeah, you should feel right at home out here because it's been raining most of the day. So bye-bye, irritating frog. Cheerio.